Hey everybody, good morning once again. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am back for part two of my Thursday morning live feed from Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful Thursday morning. Started out with some clouds. Now they're starting to thin out. I'm just walking out on what is left of the old boardwalk up by Wiggins Pass. As you can see, it's blocked off. We had some really high tides and big waves and they kind of beat this poor boardwalk to death. kind of sinking down lower and lower now. That darn sailboat is still over there on the other side of the pass. You can barely see it. here to the left off of Barefoot Beach. What a mess that has become. What a mess. That's the condos of Lely, Lely Barefoot Beach in the background there. Still there. One of these days it'll be gone. Well, we had a nice group of people with us this morning. Had a lot of people on earlier this morning for part one. Hopefully they'll rejoin here shortly. We'll take a walk up to Wiggins Pass, check things out. Got to backtrack a little bit to get to the stairs on the boardwalk. It's going to be windy out here. The breeze is coming out of the north, north, northeast this morning. You can see the flags blowing over there.
wind is really blowing out here on the point. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. Wonderful. How's your oh, it's all. It's it comes and goes. Yeah. It's one of those things, you know, once you mature. <laughs> yes, I know those problems. <laughs> I have the very same thing, and I take medicine before I get here so that I can uh, walk the beach. I've got some stuff I take when it starts acting up. Yeah. So tell me about boat over here and why is it still here? I don't know why it's still there. I couldn't figure it out how to get it out of here by now. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe right? they could have chopped it up and put it out of pieces by now. <laughs> Walked it back piece by piece and got it out of there. I mean... Well, it's that close to the shore. Heck, you could drag it onto the beach. Set it on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Do something. I don't know. I, from what I understand, it's some kind of insurance battle. Oh. And the state has given them, well, last week, they gave them 21 days as their ultimatum. And then I guess the state will come in and fill them. Cheapers. And that won't be cheap. I'm sure it will be uh, very expensive. Yeah. It is expensive to get it off there. They've tried once. Some salvage company came in. They said they're going to make another attempt. I can't figure out why it's such a big deal. Well, they got the other boat out of there, so I, yeah. thought, I thought that was attached to the other boat. Yeah. But I guess they're two separate two yeah. separate things then. Yeah, that one's, gosh, it's been there for at least six weeks now. Oh, I know, and the waves have just been crashing over it and for the last one. It's going to become a reef, probably, before they get it <laughs> out of here. They've got eggs in there. Oh, yeah, there's, They're probably exactly. laying eggs in there's there. There's probably all kinds of fish <laughs> calling it home now. The only thing I'm, yeah, that's concerning is, you know, there is a motor on it, so. Yeah. Right, and the oil. Yep, the oil leaking out. Massive Gas. battery. Yep. Other, just other Beach has just changed. It's changed pretty drastically over the past week. Yes. I mean, I, I've I've never seen it this. Old Mother Nature. You know, you can't mess with her. No. And every time we try, we screw it up even worse. Exactly. So let her do her thing, and it's like this pass is starting to close up. I know. Uh, last week, one of the days, I think the point was out here, so it looked like you could almost walk. I mean, now, now some of these boats can't even get through here. They have, if they don't go fast, they can't get out. If they're not up on a plane, you know. Oh yeah. And they're not. You're not supposed to be going fast through here. Which they do anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll dredge it again and push some sand it back up. It has. There. Was it hasn't. It hasn't even been two, two years. Two years. Yeah, since the last dredging. Two years. It just so. it goes to show. Exactly. Well, with the hurricanes that we had last year, what was it, six, eight of them that, yeah. that we had that came through? Yeah. Took a lot of the beach out. But then, yeah, 
They need to dredge it and shoot, shoot the sand back over here. Yeah. They did that one time. They did it down. They put the sand down in Area 4. Okay. They pumped it from up here all the way down there. That was kind of neat, but that was the only time they ever did that. The rest of the time, I, it just, I don't know where it goes out. Oh, the other time, it was they pumped it up to Barefoot Beach. The last oh. time is where it was going. Okay, well, then. It's our turn it's the our next turn. Yep, it's our turn the next time. All right, Amanda, have a good one. Oh, well, thank you. There you go. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, this is all new here. This point over here. This is crazy. I've been looking down on the ground. There's a few shells down here, but I haven't seen anything worth picking up this morning. I was kind of thinking we might have a lot of shells down here after those two days of storms and big waves. I think it's going to happen at low tide. I think that's going to be the time for good shelling. There's a live, a live little fighting conch, a little one in his shell there, beautiful shell, the Florida fighting conch. That's got a fighting conch inside. I don't know if he's gonna come out for us this morning. Try to flip himself over. Beautiful little shell though, beautiful. Tide's on its way in. Just set them back. Set them a little closer to the edge of the water. Another one. You can see this guy's out of his shell here. Another beautiful shell. Oop, there he goes. There he goes. The little Florida fighting cop. See his two eyes there? All right, bud, I'll put you down. Set him down here. Oh, he's happy. He rolled over. Oh. Help him out and bury him in the sand. Give him a hand. This beautiful little shell. There's some little little gems here when you stop and look. If you're just joining, good morning. Welcome to North Naples, Florida and the Southwest Florida Television Beach family. here yet that I have seen now the sun is 
gone in behind the clouds for a little while. Clouds are coming in from the Gulf this morning. Here it comes back out. Good morning. Yeah.
coming out of the east now. All those beautiful little yellow flowers are still here. Still blooming. Wow, windy, windy. What a great place to be for Earth Day, huh? Our gorgeous view of Wiggins Pass. Pelican up there in the water. Just ahead of me here.
always fun to watch the pelicans. Get something, where'd you go? Oh, he's drifting away in the current there. Have you got anything? Yeah, he swallowed something. Something went down. Really? <laughs> They're fun to watch. How's everything going today? Great, great. Yeah, the cold weather and Isn't that crazy? Yeah, they had they had snow in India and Columbus. Oh wow. No thanks. This this is the only white stuff I want between my toes. <laughs> Rub it in. They should have waited another couple weeks. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Very important. The grandkids. Yeah. 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 Remember when you were a kid? It didn't phase you. I grew up in Tampa. No, I oh, you grew I up in Tampa? I, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. We we never we never had snow when never. I was there. So oh, but, never. You never experienced up north when you visit people. Oh, well, I never saw. Uh, well, obviously here you didn't. Yeah, I, I saw it once in Miami when I was a kid. Yeah, no, I. We never had any in Tampa when I when I lived there, and then uh, I hadn't seen snow except on TV until I went to graduate school in Massachusetts. Ah. Well, then, then you saw plenty of it. Yeah, my butt saw a lot of a lot of sidewalk too. That first yeah, it's the Floridian on ice. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys can keep your snow. Sorry, up north. <laughs> it's pretty to look at from inside the house, but that's about it. Definitely would not want to be working in it. Working in it, walking in it.
Hey, thanks for watching this morning. It's nice having you tag along with me here. If all goes well, I'll be out again tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. Looking forward to seeing you once again. Remember to share. Hit that share button. Invite your friends to join us in the mornings. Tell them about Southwest Florida Television. Spread the word. Share the love. Bringing people together one beach walk at a time. That's what it's all about here in the morning. And remember I do count on your financial support, your tips, donations, contributions, whatever you want to call them. If you'd like to send a little thank you, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Or you can send stars. You can see the stars. I've got zero stars there. <laughs> but you can send stars if you like to any of my videos. Or become a regular monthly supporter of Southwest Florida Television. Those of you that have done that, thank you so much. But above all, thanks for being a friend. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Tally-ho, everyone, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.